Bajan Stoke fires and swing the Wildcats. Emilio Fusco drops the puck. Mikael, Mikael Kleser, Sean Norris. Ashley tied up on the wing. Gonna come right back in. Icing's waved off. He's up on the blue line by Kleser. The Kleser's is getting dirty. He's been at that. Getting under skin a lot of players, but for me, he's really found his rhythm. Back into Nell, into Malazinski and Beer Breyer. Beer Breyer switches the play over to Whitfield, over to Malazinski. Fires it deep into the corner. Closed down by Jake King. Jake King looks at the wide, plays it to Sanford. Picked up by Norcliffe. Norcliffe on the wall. Gains the blue line, drops it back. Holds off. Lydiard almost took it and gets it by Renny Maul on the short side. He's got to want that one back. He may look to Lydiard and say possible screen. Back to Beer Breyer, into Nell. Nell switches to play. Nice play from Nell to Beer Breyer. Looking for Malazinski on the wing. Plays it through. Malazinski tees it up. Block. Oh! Thomas Malazinski pulls the trigger at 16.53. But great work in the own zone by Aaron Nell. Plays it through to Beer Breyer. Beer Breyer gains the blue line. Switches the play across to Malazinski. And I keep saying Malazinski's got one of the best shots in the league. When he shoots, he's going to score. And he ties the game up at one 16-53 now from Beerbrar and Malazinski Malazinski puts the Wildcats back into this game they'll go back to what worked last night but at the same time Wildcats they just got to be aware on the, on the offense they can be prone to give those shorthanded opportunities back in the Van Cleek tees it up whoa bit of a high one there Wildcats put it away it looks like it's Chris Jones on the rebound but Tyler Van Cleek clearing out some chicken Clips on that shot from the point, a bit high, but when you get rebounds like that and you got Chris Jones in the vicinity, he's hanging around that net like a dog in a butcher shop. Puts the Wildcats up by one, soon the Wildcats two, Bakersdorf buys in one. 9.58 on the clock. Great transition, as I said, another power play goal for the Wildcats. The Bison are going to be holding back. They know if they take penalties, the Cats are going to capitalize. Wildcats make the change. Plays it across in the Bullets. Bullets up on the blue line. He's driven into the corner by Jones. Across. Nice pass across from Thomas Malazinski. <laughs> You can watch Hockey Night in Canada, whatever you want to watch. NHL on ESPN, but you're not going to see a better pass than that. Max Beerbrier finds Thomas Malazinski right beside the post. you got to look at the name on the back of the shirt. If it says Malazinski, you cannot leave him alone. And he puts it away to put the Wildcats up by two. And another power play goal at 6-10 remaining in this first period. Swin the Wildcats three. Bazerstoke buys in one. Bison on the power play, opportunity to get themselves back into this game. 158, 29 seconds on the power play. Goes back to Jones. Good work from Bebris. And Dick Kleshen has been quiet tonight. Back into Harding. Plays it out front. Big save from our double rebound for Kleshen. Big rebound for Norcliffe and Tate. Back to Jones. Big save from Reddy Mar. Big rebound. Net's got to be off here. Be interesting to see what the call is. Matthews has got to confer with his linesman. Looks like he's going to give it. Norka playing in front of that net. Big body. Wildcats defense going to have to pay attention to him. Back in the Kleshner. Kleshner Klesner up on the blue line. Wildcats defense. Top of the circles. And it's Sean Norris over the shoulder of Rene Marr at 11.53. Wildcats holding the pressure in the Bison zone. Comes back through into Norris. Norris up on the blue line, drives it wide. No one's there. Tate follows the play. Tate off the bar. Big save on the way in again. It's not part of your equipment, but post and crossbars make a lot of saves. Back through into Morris. Morris up on the wall. Good save. A lot of tempo in front of that net. Good pressure. Big goal from the Bazerstoke Bison. George Norcliffe just hanging around in front of that net at 6.33 remaining in the third, second period. Wildcats back to full strength. Pledged on the blue line. 
Teed up on the way in, and the Wildcats go down by two as Borowski on the wing. Bit of a broken play. Gets it on the stick. Harewood picks the puck up, comes back and through to the middle. Turns that puck over, gets free. Puts pressure on the Wildcats. Defense, Bailey Harewood, big strong player. Puts it away, big save from Rene Marr with Bailey Harewood getting behind the defense. That's what he can bring to this Stoke lineup. Long stride, powerful skater, can get on top of defense in a hurry. Beverson to Jones gets saved from Matt Nell Ponce is on the rebounds. Kells kept wide. Back through to Bebris. Bebris all alone at top. With Klesner back into Van Cleef. Good ball from Tyler Van Cleef working it around. It's all about the power plays tonight. But again, Tyler Van Cleef, he's had plenty of shots tonight. You know he's going to score. That's his favorite spot just off the defenseman. Switches the play. And Tyler Van Cleef puts the Wildcats back into this game. Swing the Wildcats four. Basingstoke buys in five. And again, for both teams, it's all been about the power play and PK tonight. Back through to Van Cleef. Van Cleef back up top to Lydia. Lydia wasn't expecting the pass. Sanford breaks free and George Norcliffe one on one puts the buys in the head by two. 18 51. Both defense for Swindon came together and George Norcliffe snuck him behind. <laughs> Gives it to Nell, Nell walks it through, uses his strength, and there Max Beerbar on the side of the net. Gets the Cats back into it. This game is like a Wimbledon tennis match, back and forth, back and forth. But Aaron Nell uses strength, holds off the defender, plays it across to Max Beerbar on the side of the net. There's no way he's going to miss that. Puts the Wildcats right back in this game. 18-03. Bajenstoke buys in six. Swindon Wildcats five. Start for Marr. Turned over from Tate. Tate on the blue line. Looked like Nell was going to go for a hook. as he breaks free. Wildcats get themselves back into this game and it's all tied at six, but Edgar Bebris finds that space in behind the defense and he's, that's not his first rodeo. He goes over the shoulder of Alex Matam to get this game tied at six. This is definitely playoff hockey. Both teams are in full offensive mode. 13.55 remaining in this third period. Momentum is back in the Wildcats dressing room right now. He's come out in the third period. And again, if the Wildcats can grab one right here, health and safety, better make sure the bolts are tight on this roof as it's going to come off. Now hard into the corner, turns on to Malazinski. Malazinski keeps it wide. Good pressure from Badenstoke. Looking for Bebris. Wildcats want to get somebody in front of that net. One timer from Jones. Shots blocked all the way in. Much like Harding earlier, Jones has got to expect that one time shot. Looking for Nell on the far side. Malazinski in front. Back to Beerbrar. Over to Nell. Back to Jones. Jones, tough pass to Nell to get there. He's going to hold on to that puck. Back to Beerbrar. Clenches up high. Tough pass into Jones' feet. Bouncing puck. Good coverage from Bainstoke. The pressure up top. Giving space down low. Nell plays it in over the shoulder. And he does the Eric Cantona. 746. Swin of Wildcat 7. Puck comes over to Aaron Nell. And just like Eric Canton as a Manchester United player, turns at 360 and acknowledges the crowd. And that's what you want from your coach. You've got to lead from the front. 7.46 on the clock. Swindon Wildcats 7. Bajan Stoke buys in 6. And again on the power play. Back in the Van Cleef. Crazy bounce. Lydiard back in the support. He's closed down by Harding. 
Goes back in through the net. Matham still hasn't left the net. 48 seconds. Back to Jones. Jones walks it through. Big save for Moore. Big up in front with Klejna. They put it away. Mikel Klejna at 42 seconds remaining in this third period. Jones, five minutes of OT. Back through to Bebris. Bebris goes back into his own zone. He wants to hit Jones with pace. He goes through the middle. Whitfield jumps up into the play. Whitfield takes the puck down low. Jones is at the back end. Whitfield brings it out in front. Alex Matson with the crazy foot save with Stevie Whitfield. Bullis to get back. Sam Bullis, he's going coast to coast. Sam Bullis, get your passport ready. He's going right to the net. Sam Bullis, end to end. Big save from Alex Matsum at three, oh, mi three minutes in this third period overtime. 52 seconds, Borowski up against now. Good draw from now. Beer Bar holds the puck. Now he's going to break free. Now two on two with Bebris. Now one on one with Adam Harding. He's going to shoot here. Knuckleball, Aaron now puts it away. Swindon Wildcats, eight. Bezos Dog buys in seven. When you're the coach of this team, you get a lot of responsibility. And Aaron now steps up to the plate. Not one of his patent wrist shot cannons, but it's a knuckleball that gets under the legs of Alex Matson. But full credit for the Swindon Wildcats. They got off the canvas last night in Bensonstoke. They didn't have their A game tonight. But it's how you finish the game. And Swindon Wildcats, eight. Bensonstoke buys in seven and sets up an absolute cracker of a game next Saturday against Telford. But Swindon Wildcats take the overtime win, 8-7.